But then the Most High became angry with us because we disobeyed his commandments. And so he broke that into pieces and scattered us among the nations. He scattered us for a reason. Because we were together with good and evil. And the evil were overcoming the good. And the process that you see going on right now is the reverse. Now that we found out who we are. There is a fight to separate the evil from among us. And that fight often ends up in having to prove who the evil person is. And I see people taking that as a petty undertaking. That is a righteous undertaking. Okay, It may not appear so until it's actually proven. Hey, this man is laying with someone else's wife. Or, for example, you have someone that's teaching, hey, you know, rape is, is okay with the most high. There's going to be a debate. <laughs> you better believe it. Because we're not going to have rapists creeping around our wives and children. No way. <laughs> you better believe it. Because we're not going to have rapists creeping around our wives and children. <laughs> you better believe it. Because we're not going to have rapists creeping around our wives and children. But first and foremost, unless someone is dealing with someone else unlawfully, they're not doing anything against their neighbor. Now, if they're slandering their neighbor, if they're threatening them, now if they're slandering their neighbor, now if they're slandering their neighbor, <laughs> you better believe it, because we're not gonna have rapists creeping around our wives and children. Now, if they're slandering their neighbor, <laughs> you better believe it, because we're not gonna have rapists creeping around our wives and children. No way. You can forget that. Rapists snatching our virgins up saying because the Torah said that if they lay with her, he will surely endow her to be his wife. He's going to get stumped the same way. <laughs> He's going to get stumped the same way. <laughs> He's going to get stumped the same way. <laughs> it result in real evil against each other. And so these are why you have the debates. Now you're reading scriptures and you're reading about unity and thinking that Oh, well, why would the Most High say that we are to gather together and that unity is so pleasant and sweet for... You have to read with understanding. I feel like it's wicked as hell for you niggas to be sitting here putting my sisters in a band whereby they end up in the hands of a goddamn heathen man. And if that makes me the fuck nigga in the room, well, by all means, when you see me... I want to give all the praises and the honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah Bahashem, Recha Hakwadash, and double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Shalom to the elect. Whoever you may be, Shalom, peace to the elect. Uh, I want to go on this video here. I ran across, you know, looking for something else, but this popped up. This is a man, uh, an elder man by the name of Elder Aquana, right? And actually he was, I was going into the unity thing and this came up, so I wanted to touch on that, but then it went somewhere else, all right? So it's ironic because you got the other Elder Quanoth and then you got Elder Quanah, right? So I don't know if these are the Old Testament, this is an Old Testament Israelite, I don't know. But I was listening to his video and he was kind of on point with, we were not meant to unite at the time because of we're in captivity but then he goes on to talk about slander and then I hear him say um, something about rapists where you got guys that's teaching to go to go rape you know that just rubbed me a little the wrong way but they're going to do this because the scripture says they're going to do this but let me get a scripture set first uh, before I go further into the lesson Ecclesiastes Sirach 11 and 7 blame not before thou has examined the truth understand first and then rebuke right a lot of these guys haven't even seen the videos to understand what's going on you know the first thing they saw uh oh they're talking about rape against our little children my wife and my daughter my little girls this is the first thing they say this is these western thinking Israelites you know and I have nothing against this guy I don't know him but we can clearly see but, you know, I got to keep it clean, but we can clearly see that this is about um, basically the uplifting of the woman. 
Okay, this is what this is about. Um, protecting a woman, uplifting a woman. And true, if you got a wife and you got daughters, you understand that in this society, you should understand that nobody's teaching and nobody, you're not going to let anybody rape your daughter, right? You know, we're not in the mindset of ancient Israel at this point anyway. We're not even in the, the, uh, the uh, we're in captivity. He admitted that. But we just saying, according to ancient Israel, this has happened for a fact, and it was nothing unlawful. And you can go on all the literary translations, and they'll all say the actual word. The KJV really doesn't say the word. They'll say lay hold, right? But the other versions actually say rape. But the rape, and, and, and this is the bothersome part. These guys are supposed to know dealing with our heritage that everything was turned upside down everything that you see happening today is total opposite of what we lived so how do we know what's right and what's wrong total opposite of what you we we live in it today that's how you know and you know another thing i want to go into how do you know who's a prophet how do you know who's a prophet i didn't want to get into the so-called rape thing you know i just wanted to go into this uh this lesson on these guys in the unity you know and this guy was on point with some of the things he was saying but this man hasn't done a video in six months one video two videos was six months ago three videos was six months ago other video was a year one prior to that was three years ago three years ago four years ago this man has done three videos in Three, how can this be men of the Lord? How can these be prophets of the Most High? They got a video here. Looks like them being out there in the 1980s or something. I don't know. Four years ago, four years, you get the point. Five years ago. That's crazy. That's crazy. Let's go to Jeremiah 23 and 2. Therefore, thus saith the Lord Yahweh of Israel against the pastors. See, and this is what I also wanted to get into about this unity madness, right? When a lot of you jakes read these scriptures, you're reading them to the Christian church and to the Christian pastors. Really, these scriptures are going to a lot of you jakes that know you're an Israelites, right? So this is where the uh, the contention comes in. And that's why Jude, the first chapter says, contend for the faith, right? Who are we going to supposed to be contending with? The Christian church? Not really. Unless they come up and want to debate us according to the Bible. But really, they're in a totally different realm. Their belief, their belief system is of a heathen. They don't even they, they believe in white Jesus. Well now they're coming around from that. But they don't even believe in the, 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 the Holy One of Israel. So really these scriptures are talking about us. All of us. That know we the, the Israelites. Right? Therefore, thus saith the Lord, Yahweh of Israel, against the pastors that feed my people. Right? Ye have scattered my flock and driven them away and have not visited them. That's this guy. He ain't did a video in three, three videos in the last six months, two videos in the last year, three videos in the last three years. I mean, come on. How do you have the, the you know, how can you have the platform? to go out and teach and tell people that they're Israelites and to teach the laws of the Bible to the best of your ability to teach to have the faith in the Heavenly Father when you don't. This is what Yahweh was going over in Matthew the 23rd chapter. You know, these, these scribes and these Pharisees, you know, these wicked men that claim to be Israelite and claim to be righteous, but they're not feeding the sheep, right? You have a flock that's out there that need to be taken care of. These guys ain't there. These aren't even hirelings because they they haven't even been there in, in, in to deceive the shepherds, right? They just went on and took off. That's This is what the uh, uh, Yahweh Shah was talking about. The Most High was saying, he will spew you out of his mouth. You lukewarm. These guys, you know what? Th this guy's cold. You know, so he gets more credit than somebody who act like they're trying. Anyway, ye have scattered my flock and driven them away and have not visited them. Behold, I will visit upon you the evil of your doing, saith the Lord. Why, why did he call it evil? Because you left them. 
This is what Yahweh was quoting, I believe, in John, the, I think the 21st chapter, maybe somewhere around the 16th, 17th verse, when he said, feed my sheep. What are you doing? This is why we cannot unite with guys like this, man. We cannot be with guys who teach the mark of the beast is not the microchip. Think about it. These guys will all of a sudden make a so-called rape doctrine. They'll and the rape according to this society is what they're saying. They'll take a doctrine that we've spoke on and it's done passed long time ago and still bring it in effect to make it seem like we're the wicked ones and they're the wicked ones. Nobody puts in the hard work and the labor like we do, man. Nobody puts up the videos, go out there on the hedges every week, in the cold, in the hot, in instant, in season, out of season, like we do at Great Millstone. None of these guys do. How can they be prophets of the Lord? They're not watching over the flock. So it gets too hot outside, you just let the flock just run out and get a uh, heat stroke. It gets too cold, you just let them freeze to death. You let them go hungry. You're supposed to feed them. What are you doing? But that's what this is, man. This is why. And, and, and secondly, or thirdly, or whatever you want to call it, they're talking about the unity, unity. Why are you even involving us in it? They don't say GMS, but you know that's what they're going at when they brought that up. We're the only ones to teach the truth. And the truth tell you is, is hardcore, man. If half you guys even read the Bible and knew how hardcore the scriptures really were, you would put the Bible down, man. Or you would understand what we're saying. Anyway, this is Acts 20 and 28. Right? Take heed therefore unto yourselves and to all the flock over the which the Holy Ghost have made you overseers. Right? Through the Spirit. You're supposed to be watching over the people. Meanwhile, you can get together and join up in some unity. Right? Or talk about it. But you can't even go out on the hedges. You got these guys that, that we know what it is. I'm not going to go into it. You know, beggars, you know what it is? Because the women give them the money and they, they do well. They talk about um, all this stuff that we're supposed to be doing to the women and speaking against the women. And you notice I haven't seen one video where these guys... And I'm talking about these guys, Fopi, and these various other characters that really go in on what this man has done in our society and how our women got messed up and how the men of our nations got messed up through the spirit of the Lord, obviously. But the, uh, the, 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 main, the remaining factor of who is responsible right now, who the Lord set up to destroy us. And they won't go into that. You notice that. They will always talk about what the, the, the rape camp right the black only it's all about your, your, your abuse of your woman your heathens you, you're letting our women go astray but you're not going to the root of the problem you notice these guys they don't ever bring up this man and what he's doing they don't prophesy about nothing like that this guy can sit up here in 30 40 minutes of a video and won't bring up nothing about prophecy nothing these guys phobie, they, they they dedicate their whole life they dedicate their whole life, right, on trying to prove all the Israelites are black. Meanwhile, all these things are happening, but this is what they do. This is all they care about. Now, I'll do videos like this, but I got other videos I do on, on other things as well. But I just wanted to talk on this because these guys are the distraction. These guys are the ones who try to create turmoil without going into the scriptures and really without warning our people, without warning the, the, the sheep, without feeding the sheep, right? Keeping the sheep healthy, telling them what's coming. They have nothing to do with that. Their whole job is to discredit us. You know why they're doing that? Because they know who gives them the money. ICBK, they do it too. They do it too. That's their whole job is to talk about everybody else but won't warn them right and I will see them get on some sisters I will give them credit for that but the majority of these groups they're still about that 
they're still about in that mode so to speak I should be Kate they're guilty of that too whenever it talks about the uplift uplifted of, of women you know they you know who name comes up great millstone I wonder why are they being threatened are they look we don't control the women we're not telling them to come to us it's all the spirit of the Lord that's because these guys you look you can't worship Yahweh and mammon you can't worship those riches and that's what these guys do and a woman represent those riches and this is why these guys is always bringing that up anyway I don't want to go any more further than that man I just wanted to talk on that that these guys they're worshipers man okay the queen of heaven worshipers and that's what it's all about with these guys right the uh, the tough mentality of a man of the Lord is not in them right and I'm not here to uh, you know really try to make them look bad or you know make a joke out of them or whatever I'm just telling it like it is we coming in you know some serious times man we ain't got time to be in that that kind of mode Jake in you got to trust in the Lord that, and that's why Proverbs 3 and 5 say that a lot of these guys ain't trusting in the Heavenly Father there's nowhere in the scriptures that say we all supposed to unite the scriptures that's talking about us uniting is talking about the ones in the same doctrine. That's why Romans 16, I think 17, Paul said, mark them that cause division contrary to the doctrine. That's where we're supposed to be uh, uniting that. And clearly the situation that we see with the fighting going on, we could clearly see that's why we don't unite. Man's goings of the Lord. So what did the Lord do? If, you, if unity was so righteous, why did that situation take place? What was that all about? I thought it was all of the Lord. That's all I have on that shallow one.